Welcome to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host, Tomas Alas, and in this video, we are reviewing the Spartan Blades Enyo. This is a lightweight, everyday carry backup tactical fixed blade, and we're gonna see what the capabilities and limitations are of this blade and what it has to offer you in order to find out if it is right for your everyday carry outdoor adventure or next tactical mission. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern so you won't miss future videos helping you upgrade your gear. With that being said, let's cut into it. This blade comes in with an overall length of 6.25 inches and has a 2.69 inch blade length. It is a full tang blade comprised of OS 8A steel and has a traction powder coated finish. This has a Rockwell hardness of 58 to 60 and on the premium version, you're either gonna get CPM S35 VN or they also have a CPM S45 VN model. And with those premium steels, you certainly get better edge retention and wear resistance. But again, for the price point, I think this is a great starting point. In the package, you also receive a plastic sheath that actually has a fun feature with a lock on there that you can slide up to get the blade released. And it comes with a belt loop attachment, beta belt loop, pull the dot clip, whatever you want to call it. And we also have two feet of paracord so you can mount it as a neck knife if that was something you were interested in doing. With the sheath, I absolutely love how many different eyelets there are for mounting options, not only with the paracord, but also this belt loop. Heck, even if you wanted to, you could throw on one of my favorite discrete carry concept clips. It also features a generous drainage hole to allow any liquids to escape the sheath. I really enjoy that the handle is also skeletonized, reducing the weight to just 2.82 ounces. Some things I really enjoy about this blade are the looks. I think it has a really cool, fun look to it, and it has a variety of different grips that you can get your hands on. In the hand, it feels very hefty and sturdy with a quite thick and reinforced tip, so it makes it good for those repeat thrusting strikes. Now, really using this blade, I have found a couple things I'm not the biggest fan of. First off is this guard here. I wish it was a little bit deeper because as it sits right now, it's a little shallow, and I kind of fear that my fingers could run up and touch the blade. The handle is fairly neutral, so you can get a few different grips on there. However, it's very compact so you do have to be mindful not to accidentally get too close to that edge with that shallow guard. Furthermore, it also has some hot spots. So if you're using this for any prolonged carving tasks, you're really gonna start to feel kind of that angular shape with some of the design features. And as we mentioned previously, it is thick and sturdy, which is a good point for a defensive tool, but for everyday carry tasks or woodworking, it's a little obtuse and thick behind the edge, getting it some extra drag to cut through. So I'd love to see a little bit of a thin down model, especially for a lightweight duty EDC blade. All of that being said, it certainly does work as an everyday carry tool. And I found it very handy being a small controllable blade and for outdoor duty use, making a feather stick wasn't too bad, but those curls were certainly thicker and not like a scanty grind. In a tactical duty situation, I really like that it does have that locking feature, although it could also present some challenges in deploying the blade offhand. A tip for that I found is kind of rolling the palm meat of your hand down and then up, allowing you to quickly access the blade. Of course, this certainly does take some practice, but on the flip side, someone's not gonna be able to just fondle around if they're a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu expert and rip that blade out and use it against you. This does take a little bit of practice to deploy it and is certainly a consideration for me using this as a neck knife, but I do enjoy that extra feature of retainability, making sure that your knife's not flopping out or getting lost. And in that tactical situation, in reverse grip, you're met with a good thumb cap and I feel that you could certainly do some work in a close quarter environment. The Spartan Enyo is packed with versatility and it's kind of like a jack of all trades, master of none. It's a little bit angular in the hand, so just make sure you know what you're getting into. I don't consider this like a long duty field use task, but for those smaller EDC cutting tasks, it works like a charm. It's stout, it's sturdy, and I would certainly rely on it for any sort of CQB or self-defense situation. And I love that they have that affordable model because at the time of this review, you can find this blade for around 88 bucks. That's certainly an improvement over that $135, $140 blade for the CPM S35. But again, like we said, if you do enjoy the blade shape, you can always upgrade to that premium model and you're not gonna have to sharpen it as much as this OS 8. Do me a favor and let me know what are your thoughts on this Spartan Enyo in the comment section down below and what other gear would you love to see reviewed here on the channel. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful in any way, shape, or form, please consider dropping a like, sharing, and subscribing as this greatly helps grow the channel. Also, make sure you turn on bell notifications and follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern so you won't miss future videos helping you upgrade your gear. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you again for watching. I'm excited to see you in the next review. And remember, be prepared, be practical, Stay tactical.